Hey guys, welcome back to Nat One Videos. Last time on the channel, I was putting together this awesome sewer system using these sewer tiles from Zane Morgan Crafts and also using some Conway boards and LEDs from Terraintronics. Now, I wanna make this build even more interactive than it already is. The lights go on and off, which is pretty cool, but it would be nice to trigger some things inside the build itself. In some of my previous builds, like my Balanced Tomb, I have actually triggered some lights and smoke effects. But in this build, I would quite like to trigger some sound effects so that whenever a mini stands on a certain point, it's gonna bring the build to life with some sound. So the first thing you're gonna need is some kind of MP3 sound chip module. I've got two here to show you and I'll just tell you a little bit about both of them. So this is the first one that I bought. I bought this because it's got a rechargeable lithium battery and it all charges off the same USB that you load your MP3 files. Unfortunately, it only runs off Windows 7, so it's an old piece of kit and pretty much useless to me because I've got a Mac, but the battery might come in handy, so I kept hold of it. So I kind of upgraded to this Talking Products one. I don't like the big clunky battery pack, which is why I kept hold of this one. I also have a spare speaker if I want to put sound into a different area of the build. So this is my preferred sound module. I am gonna link both of those products in the description below if you guys are interested. So now it's time to load some sounds onto it. I want to load the sounds for this guy. He's a bit of a sewer beast kind of character. And what I want is to have lots of splashing, lots of monster noises and things like that. So I'm gonna to have to layer up the sounds and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, I'm ready to load in all of my sounds. The program that I'm using is GarageBand, but you could use Audacity. There's plenty of other softwares out there that you can use. I am going to be, first of all, loading in a sewer sound, which I have right here. So trickling water, lots of drips in the background. It's all a bit calm at the minute. So we're gonna need some monster noises and I'm gonna load that in right now. A lot of these monster noises I pinched off YouTube and so he's all gearing up ready to pounce. Okay, so I've got my monster noises. So the next effect that I want to load in is a kind of echoey, lots of splashing. So this monster sounds like it's thrashing around, but I couldn't actually find the sound effects on the internet that I wanted. So I'm gonna make my own. Okay, so I'm in my bathroom crafting. So I couldn't find a sound effect with the thrashing of the water that I want for the sewer beast. And I'm gonna try and record some sound effects. And we're back. I've got all of my splashing and thrashing sound effects loaded into GarageBand. I also recorded some of the drips in the bath because I thought they sounded quite good with the echo. All that's left to do is I want to add a little bit of reverb to all of the tracks because the environment is a really echoey environment. So just whack the reverb all the way up and then we press play and see what it sounds like. So that's it. Basically, I now need to export the MP3 and we just drag it and drop it into the sign module. Let's give it a test. Okay, perfect, it all works, that's awesome. Now I need to build it into the project. So as I said before, I want to trigger that sound effect whenever I move a miniature onto a certain area. And the area is this middle section. It's got a grate on top, which will allow the sound to come up. 
the speaker is going to go inside there but I also want to fit in a reed switch so that I can trigger it by a magnet. So that's what we're going to do next. I'm going to wire up a reed switch and we're going to put it all together. But just before we carry on with this awesome project, I want to take 40 seconds to tell you about the sponsor of today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Archon Studios and their new campaign, Dungeons and Lasers Encounters. This campaign is being run on the GameFound platform and starts this Tuesday, the 14th of June and ends on the 28th of June. Focused on awesome looking modular scatter terrain that enables you to piece together your tabletop encounter in mere minutes. There are three different terrain sets available, Elven Woods, the Swamps of Doom and the Land of Giants, and a creatures pack that includes 33 beautifully sculpted miniatures for the tabletop. Click the link in the description below this video and follow this campaign. Each follower who orders 99 euros plus will receive a free Leshy model that is worth 35 euros. I will be showing you some of this awesome terrain up close and personal in a future video, but in the meantime, click the link in the description below and you can go and check out what the campaign's all about. Okay, so this is your reed switch and this is a reed switch circuit board from Terraintronics and I'm gonna put this inside this. So a reed switch is basically a tube of glass with uh, two pieces of metal on the inside that are disconnected. Whenever you touch it with a magnet, two pieces of metal close together and it completes your circuit. Now to put this inside this, I'm gonna to have to bend the legs, but the glass is so brittle that if I try and bend them just like this, I'm gonna break the reed switch. So if you get a very small pair of pliers and hold it right next to the glass, like so, you can then bend the leg like so without shattering the glass. And same on the other side. So on the reed switch holder, it is quite obvious which way around to put the switch and you just put the legs into the holes and push them down in. Then you're going to turn it over and we're going to put a small daub of solder on both of the connecting points. And then we just trim off the excess. So then we have these two little pads here and here and that's for just attaching your wires and you solder them in. That's this end of the reed switch all wired up and now I need to just put it into the project. Okay, so I'm now gonna glue my reed switch down in here with a bit of super glue so that the reed switch is sitting just underneath this grate. There we go, it's down in the bottom, nice and secure. Um, nothing's gonna get in there, so it's not at risk of being knocked off or anything. And yeah, now we need to get the speaker inside. Next, I'm gonna to have to make the wires from the circuit board to the speaker a little bit longer because they're not quite long enough, so I'm just gonna to have to snip them. So I've also exposed a little bit of wire and then I'm going to just attach a longer wire. So then just a little bit of solder to make sure that the wires stay together. And then I'm just gonna cover up the exposed wire with a little bit of heat shrink so there's no risk of causing a short circuit. And the easiest way to shrink your heat shrink is with fire. Okay, so I have my speaker attached to much longer cables now and I can just stick that down inside the unit where I want my sound to come out of. It's a little bit too big for the space to fit, just flush down in and didn't make the hole big enough, but the sound will still echo up through the chamber. So I'm just gonna put a little glue just to hold it in right place. Now I just need to take my long cables from this, pass it through the project and wire it up to this on the other side and I'll come back when that's done. Okay so I have my switch still attached and I have my reed switch. This means that if you want to trigger your sound effects on your own without a player standing on top of the pad you can still trigger the sound effect. Okay so it's all wired up, the lights are working, and I'm about to check if the reed switch is working. I've got a little mini that I painted up of a dungeon explorer. I've stuck a magnet in the bottom with a bit of super glue. And let's try and see if this thing works. So he's walking along and he, when he stands on the middle part. It's working.
So there we go, it works. I've got a read switch inside my build that triggers the sound effects and that's exactly what I wanted. There's a whole ton of applications you could use for that. What do you think you could do with it? Let me know in the comments below. Also, I've got to finish off this build and I've got a ton of scatter pieces to put in. I'm not exactly sure how to finish it off, so if you've got any ideas of cool things that I can add to this build, please let me know in the comments below. Other than that guys, please remember to check out Zane Morgan Crafts because of these awesome tiles. Check out Terrainetronics for all of this cool stuff that you can do with electronics. It works and also check out this video subscribe and yeah come and join me on patreon if you want hello discord all right guys see you soon bye